Have you ever wondered why getting your customers to commit to something small can lead to larger actions later on? This is the power of the commitment principle. The commitment principle is a cornerstone in marketing. But what exactly is it? Quite simply, it's the psychological phenomenon where once a person makes a commitment, they feel an internal pressure to behave consistently with that commitment. It's about creating a series of yeses, starting with small actions that can eventually lead to larger ones. So, why is this principle so relevant in marketing? Well, think of it this way. When a customer commits to something small, like signing up for an email newsletter or following a brand on social media, they're taking that first step towards aligning themselves with your brand. This small commitment begins to shape their identity and behavior, making them more likely to take larger actions in the future, like making a purchase or recommending your brand to a friend. This isn't just a theory. The commitment principle is backed by decades of psychological research. Studies have shown that once we've made a decision or taken a stand, we feel more compelled to stick with it, even in the face of changing circumstances. It's part of our human nature to want to appear consistent to ourselves and others. But it's not just about getting that initial commitment. The power of this principle lies in its ability to foster consistency. Once a customer has made that initial commitment, they're more likely to continue engaging with your brand in a way that's consistent with their earlier action. They've already said yes once, so saying yes again feels natural and easy. So when we talk about the commitment principle in marketing, we're talking about a powerful tool that can help drive customer engagement and loyalty. It's about understanding your customers on a deeper level and leveraging their desire for consistency to guide their actions. Let's take a look at a real world application of the commitment principle. Ever noticed how Amazon gets you to create an account first before making a purchase? This is no random decision, but instead a strategic move that utilizes the commitment principle to its fullest potential. Here's the scenario. You're browsing for a new book or piece of tech on Amazon. But before you can add that item to your cart, you're prompted to create an account. It seems like a small step, doesn't it? But that's where the commitment principle comes into play. By creating an account, you're making a small initial commitment to the platform. You've invested time and effort into setting up your profile, entering your details, perhaps even saving your card information. It's a low risk commitment, but it's a commitment nonetheless. Now, having made that initial commitment, you're more likely to follow through with the purchase. And it doesn't stop there. With your new account, Amazon now has the means to personalize your shopping experience, recommending products based on your browsing history and nudging you towards more purchases. But wait, there's more. Amazon doesn't just stop at encouraging you to buy a product. They also offer services like Amazon Prime, Kindle Unlimited, and Audible. Each of these services requires a subscription, a larger commitment. And due to the commitment principle, if you've already made the initial commitment of setting up an account, you're more likely to consider these larger commitments. Amazon's strategy is a prime example of how the commitment principle can be leveraged in marketing to encourage consumer behavior. It illustrates how a small initial commitment can lead to larger actions and ultimately greater engagement with the brand. As you can see, even the giants in the industry utilize the commitment principle to drive customer actions. Now that you understand the commitment principle and have seen it in action, how can you apply it to your own marketing efforts? Well, the first step is to create opportunities for small commitments. This could be as simple as asking consumers to sign up for a newsletter or to follow your brand on social media. Remember, these small commitments are like stepping stones that lead to larger actions, such as making a purchase. And here's where social proof comes into play. When consumers see others making the same commitments and enjoying the outcomes, it reinforces their own decision to commit and stay consistent. The commitment principle is all about building relationships and trust with your audience. It's not a one size fits all approach. So experiment with different strategies and see what resonates with your audience. Remember, the goal isn't to trick customers into action, but to foster authentic engagement through commitment. While the commitment principle can be a powerful tool, it's essential to use it ethically. It's not about tricking customers into making purchases they don't need or want. Rather, it's about helping them make decisions that align with their own values and desires. Ethical marketing means respecting the autonomy of customers, providing transparency and fostering trust, which are all integral to the commitment principle. Remember, the ultimate goal is to create value for customers and establish long-term relationships. This approach is not just about converting a one-time buyer into a repeat customer, but about cultivating a loyal fan base that genuinely loves what you offer. When used ethically, the commitment principle can help shape customer behavior without making them feel manipulated or coerced. It's about creating a win-win situation where your business thrives and your customers feel valued. 
In conclusion, the commitment principle is a powerful tool in your marketing arsenal. Harness it wisely and see your customer engagement and conversion rates soar. Understanding the psychology of marketing is not just beneficial, it's crucial. It's about diving deep into the human mind to understand what makes us tick as consumers. This knowledge allows businesses to better align their offerings with the fundamental needs and motivations of their customers. It's about creating a connection, not just a transaction. One excellent source of knowledge on this topic is the free book, The Buying Brain, Decoding the Psychology of Consumer Persuasion. This insightful book delves into the intricacies of consumer behavior, providing valuable insights on how to utilize the principles of psychology to enhance your marketing strategies. You can download this book for free. We've provided a link in the description below for your convenience.